natural rate of climb if you actually utilise it completely and it's nearly 2,000 feet a minute going vertically up and that will get you out of some uh, very serious situations in case you come out of a, a jungle series. And you can see these massive uh, two-bladed rotor systems. Now that is that is rotating only at about 375 revolutions per minute. Rob, the pilot, really trained with Rex, the naval architect, but he's been flying helicopters for 15 years, so uh, he's still here. <laughs> it says a lot about him, and it says a lot about helicopters as well, I think. And I'm a great uh, heli fan myself. <laughs> Indeed, I may be back here next year. I'm hoping to bring a new heli show. Now, one of the things he's doing here is flying sideways. They do have a limit here, which is why he selects which direction uh, to go in relative to the wind. So it might be a nose in, it might be a nose out. Uh, because they are limited to uh, a total of 40 knots. Okay, while with the power on, you can hear that sound. You can see the blade cutters on the front there. If you have to, uh, the uh, wire cutters, if you have to run into uh, uh, wires. Not a thing to do in a helicopter, by the way. It tends to be a very transient form of levitation. They're just sticking up from the nose, the wire cutter. The idea being that, uh, providing you don't pick up the wire with the skin, in which case it's a bit nice, I agree, uh, that the wire will slide along the nose and then be cut uh, by the wire cutter. Big, heavy duty metal skids. Now you can get jumpers in the world. Uh, interesting character. He uh, won the Distinguished Flying Cross and the Purple Heart uh, by rescuing some. Um, soldiers that were downed in a clearing in Vietnam. He flew his helicopter in and uh, all the other helicopters, the three other helicopters were shot to pieces. His helicopter was shot to pieces, but one on the far side of the clearing uh, was still good. He jumped out of his helicopter, uh, got into the other one, but what I haven't told you is before he got out of his helicopter, uh, a very large artillery round hit the cockpit um, of his chopper and blew both his hands off. And he actually managed to fly using his knees and getting a soldier, a grunt who he shouted out to use the collective, and he managed to fly the helicopter out minus his hands. For which, as I say, he got the Purple Heart. It was incredible. But I think, unfortunately, his, uh, his poor mind was uh, shot away. And he ended up, uh, as I say, being a base jumper. He was the very first person to uh, jump out of an aeroplane uh, without a parachute in America, which upset the Fed somewhat. Uh, he did that with a friend who passed a parachute to him in the air. And he put it on and he eventually was killed, jumping off a building in uh, Toronto, uh, where you get a Venturi effect between buildings. He was blown into the side of the building and it was good night, Captain Cook. But anyway, there they are, little Yui H1 story.